na 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 oh na 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 what's poppin y'all it's your girl umbrella <laughs> no 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 i'm back with another video as you probably already tell from the title i'm gonna show you guys how to turn your little teeny mini afro into a top knot bun for those of you that don't know already um i shaved my hair off a while back it's kind of growing back now i got a little little thing going on right here and it's growing okay i'm i'm growing it's, it's getting there i'm growing i posted this video it was a boomerang on instagram um like a week ago and everybody was like oh my god your hair grew so long da -da 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 -da. no it did not <laughs> but that's what i'm gonna teach you guys how to do today <laughs> this is my hair i just finished combing it out so i don't have no curls in my hair right now i just combed all my curls out i'm gonna slick everything up into a top bun with some edges and i'm gonna show you how i did that so if you want to see how to not look like michael jackson then stay tuned and keep watching you're gonna need a comb water two scrunchies gel and a whole lot of bobby pins I can't even tell you how many body pins I used to be putting in my hair. So much. <laughs> this is not even, I'm, I'm going to need more than this. Then of course, you're going to need some hair. My hair is going to be slicked down, so I have curly hair, so I got curly hair. I took this off of a wig that I'm not using anymore, so we're going to be using this. Oh, duh. You're also going to need a hard brush that's going to slick your hair back a hard brush so the first thing you're going to do is kind of like section the top part of your hair in the middle kind of the middle like that the very top of your hair where you want your bun to be I'm going to take some gel a lot of gel you're going to need a lot of gel for this this is like a one time hairstyle not one time it lasts you a while if you grab your hair at night but you're definitely gonna have to wash this out with some shampoo and stuff so if you don't want to put a lot of shampoo in your hair then don't do this hairstyle as often i'm putting the gel all around this top portion of my hair where i want the <laughs> where i want my bun to be as you're putting the gel in your hair, comb it out so the gel goes evenly throughout every strand of your hair so everything can be slicked down. Once that's combed through, then you're going to take one of your scrunchies and you're going to tie that part up. No, no, no. <laughs> comb the rest of your hair into the direction that you want your hair to go and don't worry we're gonna get rid of that other ponytail in here and then eventually just tie everything up with just one so the next thing that you're gonna do after you finish combing everything into the direction that you want it to go in you're gonna take more gel and you're just going to go around the perimeter of your hair All around to get to the back. The back is very important too because, especially if you have shorter like mine, there's gonna be pieces that stop right here and don't go all the way up into the ponytail. So you're gonna have to make sure that it is slit down, like slit down. So none of those pieces are hanging out. But if they do, you always have five million bobby pins on the side. You could just stick one in and hold it there. So once you kind of get everything up there like how you want it to, you're going to, again, comb it out all through your hair, especially the back. Try to focus more on the back than anything. It would be different if you were doing a sleek low ponytail, then you would focus more at the top and then in the back, you know. I can do a tutorial on that if you guys would like me to on a low bun because I've been a little bun on my little tiny afro before so let me know in the comments if you want to see a tutorial of that 
basically going to take the top ponytail out and you're kind of just going to blend everything together. Now you're going to take your hard brush and just brush everything, lay everything down. And if you need to add any more, add more gel. And this is why I said this is not one of those hairstyles that you, you know, will for if you have this short of hair. <laughs> this is not one of those hairstyles that you will probably do to your hair all the time because you'll probably get chemical damage. When you're doing this, you also have to focus on the front as well because the front is where, you know, that everybody looks at when they first see you. Now what I'm going to do is just attempt to put all this hair into this ponytail. I said all this hair like I have a lot of hair. <laughs> Once you get it all into one bun, you're just going to go over it a little bit with this smaller brush. I'm using my edge brush just to lay everything down. And once you do that, you're just going to go to the parts that are sticking up and just lay them down at the top of your bun. Try not to mix products when you do this because I don't know if you can see, but my hair is like, <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of like whiting out the hair. My, it's like white up here. That's because I put in some um, deep conditioner before I did this. And now, probably didn't wash it out all the way, and now my hair looks a little funny. But it's okay because when it dries out, then it's gonna be fine in the end. I'm gonna put in my last bobby pin. And this is how the hair looks. Now, for the fun part. <laughs> You're gonna take your hair and you're just going to wrap it around this part. And this is actually pretty easy. At first I thought it was hard because it was challenging trying to get everything around, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to just put this stuff up here. And you're just gonna keep adding hair. The more hair you add, the more full it's gonna look when you put it up into the actual bun. Also, depending on how tight you tie this around your hair, you probably may or may not need to use a body pin to hold it down. I personally don't need one. Because I tie this secure, it's, it don't move, it's not moving. Now for the last strand, I don't put a lot because obviously I don't have a lot of hair and a lot of people know that I don't have a lot of hair. So I don't want to make it look like I have a gigantic bun. You feel what I'm saying? But it's up to you. It's completely up to you if you want to use a lot of hair for this. So I'm going to come down here and show you how I kind of like wrap it. I don't do much. I just kind of like fold it over turn it, fold it over and turn it, fold it over and turn it, fold it over and turn it until it's to my liking and then I kind of like pull it up like that. So because my hair is still kind of a little fuzzy on the sides, I'm going to take some more gel and just put it on the side of my hair so it lays everything down and this is what you get now you can either leave it like this or you can be spicy with it and add some edges I use this style factor edge booster that I got from my nearest beauty supply store I just take some down with the comb and then do this. That was crazy. I'm gonna do my edges in this mirror right here because I can't do it in the camera. And when you brush it, brush it all the way through to the top so it like connects everything and it doesn't look like you have a piece of hair flying out. 
Then the last thing you're gonna do is take a head scarf, a silk, specifically a silk scarf, because if you use any other type of scarf, then it's really not gonna lay down anything. It's just gonna make it frizz up. You're gonna take the silk scarf and just wrap it around. Just like this, and then you're gonna wait a couple minutes, um, and then you're gonna come back, and then it's gonna be laid. The entire thing is gonna be laid. So, um, it's been probably like 10 minutes. <laughs> um, I'm taking this off now. Ow! Try not to mess up your edges or anything. This is the final look, you guys. Um, I really hope you enjoy. Um, this. It's a really easy, simple hairstyle, and it doesn't take that long. This video is probably long, but it doesn't take that long in reality. So, I hope you guys try this out. If you do, let me know. Send me the link to your video on my Instagram DMs, and I will watch your video if you try this hairstyle out. I really love it. I wear it all the time. So, I probably have camera with your image, but at least I don't look like Michael Jackson anymore. So... <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please give it a gigantic thumbs up and press that subscribe button and let me know down in the comments any more ideas you want me to do. So without further ado, enjoy the rest of your morning, day, evening, or night, and I'm going to see you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.